things I really used to like was the way grandmothers knit those dishcloths and um, I found out that they're actually very easy to adapt to the loom so buy yourself some yarn that is pure cotton get the loom and we'll learn how to create this we'll cast on using the chain method so we'll place a slip knot over the first peg insert the crochet hook between the first and second and then grab each loop remember there is another tutorial that explains this method if this goes too fast for you so we'll cast on 24 pegs Bring the yarn inside and place the last one, the last loop over the last peg. The first row will purl, so bring the yarn outside underneath the loop that's there. Then from above, scoop up the yarn and form a new loop. second row we'll knit and also we'll weave in the tail end of our yarn so knit the first one then pick up the tail end and your working yarn and knit both until you have no um, tail left I'll emphasize this is not conventional but since I'm basically lazy I don't usually feel like weaving in the tail end in the end so this gets rid of it too that was the last of it and then we'll continue knitting and that concludes the second row The third row, purl again. Then repeat this twice more. So finish this row in the purl stitch. Then the next row knit. Then purl again. And then I'll meet you for the seventh row. seventh row and every odd row from now on purl three just three and then knit until the last three stitches Okay, only three left, so the last three purl again. So do this for every odd row. Every even row, which is from left to right, knit. So once again knit this whole row and continue doing this for the la for the next maybe 30 rows or so. So the odd rows, purl 3, knit the rest, purl 3, the even rows, 
knit. Isn't that coming along nicely? We've done about 42 rows, so let's start with the border, which is a whole row of pearl. going back one row in the knit stitch and do this twice more. We've knitted and purled three rows so it's time to cast off. We have a choice, we need to uh, cast off using the chain method so we can use the crochet hook or we can use the knit method. I prefer the knit method but um, that's up to you, of course. They're both explained in tutorials. And done! Isn't that lovely?